Hey, welcome back to Damon's Metal Casting. If you're a subscriber, I really appreciate you supporting my channel. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button now. So a little while back in one of my other videos, I said I'd do a little foam casting. Most of my, foam, most of my castings this far have been 3D prints and, and kind of just one side. So I wanted to try something different and I said I'd do foam casting. So I went out and I bought a little tiny foam cutter. Got this little guy from Hobby Lobby. And basically it's a little transformer, a switch, and a hot wire. Not much there. I guess I could have built my own, but just kind of wanted to get up and run in the same day and start going. And uh, the only thing I kind of wish this foam cutter did a little differently is that after using it, I wish it had a little spring on here to be a tensioner. So that way as the wire heats up, it actually pulls the slack and, and makes it taut. Um, unfortunately, metal expands when it goes from cool to hot, and so it does have a little bit of, of slack and it would cut a little better. So anyway, back to the foam casting. I said I'd do lost foam casting, and I wanted to be able to make at least a nice one to start off for my first one. And so I wanted to be able to cut off of a pattern. And so to do that, I got on my lathe and I cut out this little piece here. Let me see if I can get it in view. It's a piece of metal that I cut out from a bar stock and you can see it's hole in the middle and the back sides cut out a little bit more. And then we have this slit that goes all the way down through it. I used a bandsaw for that and the wire of the hot wire cutting tool will just go right up through the center. And that's going to make it so I can actually tape the foam to a pattern and then move the pattern across the little nub and it will copy the pattern into the foam as it cuts. And for, you, for those of you that used a uh, wood router before and know that you can use a guide, that's pretty much what this is, except we're gonna use it for a hot wire. So here's a little table I built, a little cheap table made out of scraps, just glued some scraps there. And I made the j little adapter fit right down in there. And now when I put it on the table, I can slide the wire all the way through here and have it come out straight through the center of the little guide the little guide rail. So let's go ahead and get this video started of my first lost foam casting and making patterns and see how well this turns out. Let's get going.
The material that I'm using here is just joint compound bought from a hardware store. And I'm just thinning it down with water until I get the consistency I want to paint it on to the foam structure and the foam pattern. This is what the foam part looks after I've coated it several times with joint compound. I also added a hook at the top so that way after each application I could hang it up to dry. So at this pour, I wish I had another cup on the exit of my pattern. I'm going to pour the aluminum in here and you're going to see how it pops out the other side and just runs all over the top of the sand and sticks to the bucket. I have to admit here that that aluminum was stuck to the side of the bucket and I just beat the snot out of it with a hammer to break it loose. That piece though just broke right off. And that casting looks pretty good. That is the foam pattern that I put in there and there's been nothing done to it. It just, that's the way it poured and it poured pretty good. You can also see the styrofoam on the side of it, how well it reproduced the texture of the styrofoam too. So to give you an idea how well this reproduced, the only part I sanded was the back of it on a belt sander after I cut off the sprue. The rest of the surface has just been polished on a buffing wheel. And that was to preserve the defects and everything that happened from the foam to the actual casting. Um, looks like a lot of detail came through, a lot, lot of imperfections that were on the styrofoam showed up in the casting, but it also, I think, pretty much turned out well. If I would have spent more time on the styrofoam, it probably would have even turned out better. So I'm pretty impressed with how well it reproduced the results of the styrofoam. It's my first lost foam casting. I think it turned out pretty well. And uh, if you did too, give me a thumbs up. And if you liked what you saw and check out my other videos, also don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video.